Hi guys, so Boris Johnson and Keir Starmer had a heated debate here in Parliament. So let's hear what they had to say. Combat air program. We now come to the Leader of the Opposition, the Right Honourable Sir Keir Starmer. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Over the last few months, we've supported many of the economic measures announced by the Government, but the decision last week not to provide sector-specific support to those most at risk could end up costing thousands of jobs. One of the sectors, aviation, has already seen huge redundancies. BA have announced 12,000 redundancies, Virgin 3,000, EasyJet 1,900. If the government's priority really is to protect jobs, why did the Chancellor not bring forward sector-specific deals that could have done precisely that? Our Minister. Uh, well, Mr Speaker, no one should underestimate the scale of the challenge that this country faces, and uh, that is why the Chancellor has brought forward a range of measures, which, I'm, by the way, he supported uh, last week, uh, Mr Speaker. But how is that relevant? He supported them last week, but how is that relevant whether he supported them or not? And just because he supports some things doesn't mean that he supports everything. That's part of being the opposition. Sometimes they will agree with you on something, and sometimes they will disagree with you. If they agree with you on one thing, it doesn't mean that they agree with you on everything. And if they disagree with you on one thing, it doesn't mean that they disagree with you on everything. But you're a politician, you should know that. But also this place that Boris Johnson always runs to is, well, this was a pandemic that nobody could have dealt, nobody could have... Uh, uh, prepared for no one could have known yes we understand that but the tools that you used to to protect workers were tools that you invented you could you could control you can't control the pandemic completely there are certain things you can do to mitigate its damage but regarding jobs you are in control you can decide to pay everyone a living wage if you want to. You can instruct companies to keep people on. If if companies don't keep people on, you have the, the power to pay their wages. The, uh, the job uh, retention bonus, the uh, Kickstarter programme for young people, and we are also doing a huge amount to support the aviation sector. And one of the, one of the companies uh, that he mentions, Virgin, has now come out of the Birch uh, process after extremely difficult, uh, but in the end, productive conversations. That's the work of this government, getting on, helping companies through it, helping our people through it. Uh, uh, and I may say to Mr Speaker, he has to work out whether he's going to support or oppose the government's programme to get people back into work. Last, last week, the shadow, the shadow Chancellor said, uh, here in this House of Commons, Mr Speaker, that she supported our programme this week. But, but once again, she can support part of it and she can disagree with other parts of it. If somebody said, well, you know, do you agree with me uh, when I'm, I'm going to put forward a program and in this program I'm going to give flowers to little children? Do you support that? Yeah, I support that. And then after you tell me, well, uh, part of that is also... I, I'm going to give flowers to little children, but also I'm going to beat them with the fro with frozen flowers as well. I said, well, I don't support that. Oh, so you don't support the plan also to give flowers to little children? This is the, the thinking of Boris Johnson. Actually, I don't think this is the thinking of Boris Johnson. This is what he wants people to think. He want This is theatre. This is just for the audience. And he thinks it's working, but I don't think it's working. He comes off as amateur, while Keir Starmer comes off as professional. He says he opposes it. Which is it? Keir Starmer. This is just such rhetorical nonsense. It is... <laughs> it's like... <laughs> It's like a, a teacher standing up where a, a child has been, you know, huffing and panting for 20 minutes about, what, you know, what, what I can do and what I can't do. And you, you know, are always uh, bullying me or whatever. And the, the teacher stands up calmly and says, this is just nonsense. 
It is perfectly proper and right for the opposition to set out the parts of the package that we support of the government and to highlight where there are problems. And the problem with the Prime Minister's dismissal of this is that since the Chancellor set down last week, around 10,000 people have lost their jobs. The Prime Minister should focus on them, not the rhetoric. And the OBR yesterday projected 3.5 million unemployed next year. I want to press the Prime Minister further on the situation at BA, a huge employer and the national flag carrier. Alongside the 12,000 redundancies already announced, BA is trying to force through the rehiring of the remaining 30,000 workers on worse terms and conditions. That's totally unacceptable, and it's a warning shot to millions of other working people. The Prime Minister sent an email to BA staff in which he said, I've already made it clear that firms should not be using furlough to cynically keep people on their books and then remove them or change their terms and conditions. That was the 2nd of June. It's now six weeks on. Will the Prime Minister now personally intervene and make clear that actions like those at BA cannot be allowed to stand without consequences for landing slots? Minister. Uh, Mr Speaker, we've been absolutely clear that we want our uh, companies, our great companies across this country to support their workers and uh, to keep them in employment where they, where they possibly can. And I've made that point clear to, uh, in the, on the floor of the House uh, just in the last couple of weeks. But let's be, let's be absolutely, uh, absolutely clear. British Airways and many other companies are in severe difficulties at the moment. And we cannot, uh, I'm afraid, Mr Speaker, simply, uh, with a magic wand, ensure that every single job that was, was, was being done before the crisis is retained after the crisis. What we but that's not what he was talking about. He's not talking about maintaining all the jobs. Boris Johnson is, is strawmanning here. That's not what Keir Starmer said. He said, you, you can try and protect. Tens of thousands of jobs have been lost. Okay, So that's one issue. But the, another issue is that companies, and he gave some examples here, are letting people go and rehiring them under new terms and conditions. So new contracts. So basically people are being let off. Uh, for example, if someone is earning £15,000 a year, they're being laid off and then they're being rehired and being paid less. Now, this is against the spirit of the Fordo scheme. And Keir Stammer is asking, are you going to personally intervene and stop this? You know, it's all good, you know, shouting about it in Parliament. But are you actually going to do this? Are you going to punish these companies? And you, you know, they, they are not treating their workers correctly. And Keir Starmer gave a very specific punishment you can do. You can impose on them. You can stop them having landing slots. So you can say to the airlines, well, if you're, we can't stop you from doing this, but we can punish you for doing this. So get with the, the picture, get with the, the situation and treat your staff with respect. But Boris Johnson isn't interested in responding to this. What we can do and what we are doing is encouraging companies to keep their workers on with the job retention scheme. And we're encouraging them. Jesus Christ. I, we're encouraging them. Yes, BA, can you please not uh, switch your contracts around and treat your, your staff like crap? Please don't do it. I know we're not going to punish you if you do it, but we'd be really happy if you didn't do it. Uh, with the job retention bonus and with a massive program in investment in this country of 600 billion pound this is extremely frustrating to listen to because boris johnson doesn't care about the actual substance of the problem he just wants it he just wants to use his moment to speak to inflate his own bloody ego investment program in this country to build 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 and create jobs 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 and that is what we are doing mr speaker Oh my God, I, I have to stop this video here because Boris Johnson's rhetoric is just extremely frustrating to listen to. So he was asked, are you going to work, are you putting in pl a place to protect these jobs? Tens of thousands of jobs have been lost, okay. But some people have been rehired under worse conditions. So what are you going to do about that? And Boris Johnson's response is basically jobs, 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 build, build, build. They should be asking Boris Johnson to resign at this stage. 
it's beyond a joke. It's insulting to the people who have lost their jobs. It's insulting to the companies who are actually trying to maintain uh, their staff with, with reasonable conditions, the same conditions as before, if possible. And, and this is the government. This is the Prime Minister. With his Dominic Cummins invented slogans, build, 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 jobs, jobs, jobs. Does it work on someone? Who, who does it work on? Is someone convinced by this? I know there's some people on this channel who comment regularly who are convinced by this. Who think Boris Johnson is doing a fantastic job. Maybe go and ask the people who work for these airlines who have been rehired under worse conditions if Boris Johnson is doing a great job to protect them. I linked this entire video in the description, guys. I do recommend watching it, but I've had enough of Boris Johnson to do me a day. Let me know in the comments, guys, what you think. As always, your comments are greatly appreciated. Thanks a lot. Why not become a Patreon and enjoy access to our Discord server where we share news, chat, and have some fun. If you become a Patreon, you can also make video suggestions on topics that are important to you. Check it out via the link in the description.